Yo, what's going on guys? Prime S7 here. We're back at it with another goddamn dank. Well, not really a dank meme video. It is a goddamn greatest memes of March. But if you niggas have seen my goddamn greatest memes of 2018, it is just gonna be like that. We're just gonna go through these memes and see which one is the best meme of March because we can only have one contender ladies and gentlemen yo if i miss any memes tell me down in the comment section this time i actually went through and goddamn analyzed it all right no! fuck i wrote this shit on a piece of paper once again all right now i have 16 memes in total these are not in an order these are just all together that are good the 15 memes i put down on here is the minecraft comeback slash armor set tetris beatboxing bottoms up you was at the club sean dawson's cat shack eating hot food go crazy go stupid momo ant-man and thanos's ass old town road friends opening theme song nigga clown memes and carl the porcupine all right i put these all in an order to just list out and give us an example of what we're rocking with today at the bottom we have clown memes all right now the clown meme blew up for about two or three days but it was definitely getting out there all right you want to look like a clown hop your goofy ass and a lot of people understood the meaning of it and said we out here not being clowns we cannot be out here looking like some clowns the fuck am i even looking at but it was big enough to get into the top 15 now number 13 is the momo meme all right you niggas know what momo was they said that there was these youtube videos telling kids to go kill their fucking parents or some shit hold on now them niggas got double tapped and it was a reoccurring meme that already happened a long time ago when i made the obunga meme and i guess that got big enough to actually get into the top 15 because it was on national news and a bunch of youtubers were talking about it but it really didn't blow up for that long of a time is the reason that it's not higher Yo, why the pillar man so thick? Number 12 is nigga, all right? Now, some people may not know this one. I love the meme so much. I'm telling you, nigga memes are underrated. I would rank it higher, but it really wasn't that popping. It really didn't get out there. It could be some random clip from a movie, and it cuts to a person. It says nigga right under him. And the whole posterization is just over the max limit, and it starts playing this song behind it. Let me give you boys an example. We're here. You guys have probably seen this meme and i definitely love this to the point that it's actually got into the top 15 i it's, it's just a good meme now number 11 is go crazy go stupid now i put this one at number 11 because it was a reoccurring meme it was big enough to the point where people at my own school were talking about it and i was like yo this shit has already happened it blew up with the void meme the void meme and this meme were like intertwined together all right these niggas must be lacking it's a good meme it definitely deserves to be a number 11 just because of how the popularity of it came back it only lasted for about two or three days but it was still good now, number 10 is Shaq eating hot food all right now this meme comes from that show where it has like the celebrities eat the hot sauce and shit Gordon Ramsay was on there Shaq was on there I think Billy Eilish whatever whatever fuck I don't know what her name is Shaq eating hot food meme with some good stuff all right Shaq is a motherfucking meme legend out here it blew up for about four days but it definitely got out there to the people now number nine comes down to Sean Dawson's cat I hope I'm saying his name right Sean Dawson Dog, I don't watch his fucking video. He's got over 20 million subs and a bunch of shit happened with this guy. This was a big meme. This meme blew up in just one week, all right? He made a podcast about a few years ago that he f had sexual intercourse with his cat and then did something on the cat. But it was a joke, all right? I, it just sounded really realistic. To me, I think it was a joke, but the way he said it was so real that it couldn't have been real. Because come on, ladies. If you were actually doing... Ladies, I called you guys ladies. If you were actually doing that to a cat, no one would come out about that and say, oh yeah, that's what I do. Dude, that's bestiality. You're going to jail, nigga. Sean Dawson's a good guy. He doesn't do too many bad things. He loves his cat. I love my cat. It definitely deserves to be there because it blew up. It was on fucking drama alert. He had to come out on a statement. It was number one trending on United States and Twitter. It was definitely number nine biggest meme of mark number eight comes into the friends opening meme. the friends intro meme was already a reoccurring thing but when it came back it came back stronger than ever unlike go crazy go stupid or momo it didn't come back that strong but the friends opening meme came back with such enthusiasm and creativity it definitely deserves to be up here with goddamn every other meme on this page and i made one you guys see my last video it's 
fucking hilarious. It's creative. It gets the job done. I love friends. I love the intro memes. My shit was better than everybody's. It deserves to be up here. Okay, guys, yo, future Pymat7 here. If you guys are wondering what the f is happening and what the order is, I actually missed out and took off like about five memes because they didn't make sense while going back through the editing process. I saw that they weren't actually in the month of, I guess, March. I bad on that, all right? So the video's really weird, but it, it, we, shit, you guys will get to the motherfucking number one. For number six. Is there a number six, dude? Guys, I don't have a number six meme, but it's kind of like merged into number five. So this will just be six and five all together. So this meme right here is called Ant-Man and Thanos' ass. All right, now I know you boys have heard of it. How the Avengers could beat Thanos. If Ant-Man goes into Thanos' ass and expands, he could honestly destroy Thanos, all right? Now that was a good topic and it blew up because it was like, yo, this shit could actually happen. Like, yo, I don't know why these niggas ain't thinking this. But if Ant-Man could have just went into Thanos' body and expanded, would he not just become like, some mush and be pulled apart there was a whole discovery on why this couldn't happen basically the reason why ant-man couldn't beat thanos doing this his skull is that strong that he was able to take a hit by the hawk imagine ant-man spreading in thanos's cheeks he would be crushed and just malleable and then squeeze out of his cheek this is this is a very brief description of what i'm saying but basically thanos's skull and body is too strong all right he got hit by the hawk you know it, it, that's that's how it went down but people definitely saw this and it blew up for about a good week and two the reason that it's that big is because a lot of people like superheroes and the avengers memes and thanos and everything is just loved by everybody all right like last year thanos was the biggest meme of 2018 so when thanos came back with ass cheeks and ant-man people had to get on now number four comes down to tetris beatboxing all right i made a video about this i think it definitely deserves to be on number four just due to how big this guy got i don't really know his name but i saw his instagram page and he blew up you had will smith talking about it was it too normie-ish but it was it too and edgy it was like so perfectly centered the meme community definitely helped this guy's career out and it's just a great honor to see some shit like this happen to our community you know what i'm saying and it blew up for about a good two weeks everyone loved it it kind of eased in and then eased out it wasn't like an instant come and then instant die it eased in and eased out and that's why i definitely think it deserves to be number four number three i know some people are gonna hate me for this one minecraft comeback slash armor set now i cannot fucking explain how big this shit was in the beginning of the month i already said this in the older video but but basically what I'm saying is that people that goddamn played Minecraft back in the day, like me, you, some other people, basically the people that were 12, 13, 14 when Minecraft came up, we're growing up and we're starting to look back on our nostalgia moments of Minecraft. So that's what the meme basically briefed on. It came back out of nostalgia. When I was younger, I played Minecraft. I'm growing up and I like looking back on memes like this. The nostalgia basically brought the meme to life and it was that big that it was really getting out there to the community, dog. And it's just beautiful to see some shit like this happen because, yo, Minecraft was definitely something that touched my heart deeply all right I, I still got my creeper head and the way people were making it so much creativity you had the goddamn creeper spawns the nether portal all this shit the armor sets it was just beautiful to see some shit like this and i definitely think it deserves to be number three but if you use your elimination skills we come down to two memes all right two great memes and only one of these can be the greatest meme of mark two memes we have is called the porcupine and bottoms up you was at the club all right now yo these are both some great memes they both came back twice in the middle of the month if i was to choose between these two memes both of them living for more than two weeks both of them having an impact on the meme community both of them not being some normie shit i would have to give it to bottoms up you was at the club you was at the club bro. you was at the club touched my heart so much dog. i remember when it blew up all right it first started off very small very slightly and i was like all right this is a little cringy a little awkward i don't know what's in his cup he's saying you was at the club i said yo why am i at the club weren't you at the club yo when he started to blow up i was like holy god it just kept going up the meme kept going up and up and up i did not see a downfall of this meme for a good two weeks people are out here making minecraft things making his face people are dressing up as him on tiktok and then i just saw his genius interview this man has blown up to the point where it's unbelievable he is definitely the biggest meme of mark Carl didn't make it because Carl wasn't touched by everybody in the meme community it was like emphasized that he was like hey Carl did this you know Carl's here you know Carl's sick let's hope he gets better he comes back to life Carl was a good meme it definitely deserves number two because of how big it was and how much creativity you had around it but Carl didn't really have the big impact of bottoms up I hope you boys enjoyed the video tell me if I'm wrong about the number one meme of March I think it's bottoms up still maybe tell me what's your number one meme of March is hope you boys enjoyed the video drop a like on this shit put down your list of fucking memes in the comments section and uh i'll see you boys later the people that are still watching this i know why
get forgot number three and number three was old town road all right but i don't know if you niggas want an explanation let me tell you real quick old town road was a good meme it blew up pretty quick the music video was good it related to horses it blew up on tiktok very some normie shit but it was definitely out there big enough to become one, num, num, number three meme of the month